Hello, everybody. I'm Jake. I'm the other one. <laughs> this is Dave Rubin. Dave Rubin, but also sort of Jordan Peterson, but mostly Dave Rubin. Dave Rubin time. He wrote a book, you see, and he said, please don't burn this book. And then, uh, like mockingly, hoping that he would get publicity for people to burn the book because uh, SJWs. And then no I want to see if anyone has burned the book yet. I don't yet. think anyone no. gives a shit. I don't think anyone gives a shit about the book. Um, I don't even have a copy to burn. No. So. It's digital. It's yeah. 2021. Yep. I'm going to burn my fucking computer screen. I'll print a page. I'll print a page out. We'll light it on fire. How about that? At the end of this. Uh, and hopefully I don't burn everything down. Uh, this is called Stop Being an Expert on Everything. Did anyone burn this down? Did they burn the book? Uh, the only picture I can find of it being burned is a picture posted by Dave as a promotional photo, meaning the only person who has burned Don't Burn This Book is probably Dave Rubin. <laughs> Or someone he paid to for the promotional shoot. <laughs> Pretty fucking sad. Uh, okay, well, um, Dave Rubin, inspired by his journeys with um, everyone's favorite wizard, Jordan Peterson, um, uh, he has decided to make his own rules. And his first rule is stop being an expert on everything. So we're going to read that and, 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 and laugh aloud at Dave's folly. Now I'm just thinking of a wizard character for D&D based on Dave Rubin, and he carries a staff, but the head of the staff is like a lobster claw. <laughs> Wouldn't that be Jordan Peterson, not Dave Rubin? Uh, Jordan Peterson. Did I say Dave Rubin? You did. I meant Jordan Peterson. Oh, okay. Either way. If it was Dave, he'd have his he'd have, it, have his spell book, and he'd be like, no, please don't set it on fire, and everyone's like, we don't want to. Like, no, don't. Like a kid. <laughs> don't set it on fire. Carrying a match and the Ooh, book. I dropped a flame. Oh no. Stupid. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, he starts this chapter off in the way that you should start every chapter of a book off by filleting Jordan Peterson's brain. Are you ready? Jordan Peterson is as well read, intellectually curious, and academically rigorous as I can possibly imagine anyone to be. If you've seen our Jordan Peterson review series, you'll know that a lot of the citations that he gives in his last book, 12 Rules for Life, beg to differ in terms of academic rigor. Yeah, he doesn't inspire a but ton okay. of confidence in me when I think of, like, <laughs> really smart fellas. Um, <laughs> talks about uh, some of his accomplishments, teaching psychology at places, writing a book, blah, blah, blah. Um, yet he's still able to utter the words, I don't know. A simple phrase, yet it remains one of the most underrated and rarely used in modern discourse. When's the last time you heard a politician say it? It pretty much never happens. <laughs> Dave Rubin just fucking shitting on everybody here. Wow, what a fucking brave guy. The funny thing is, uh, this reminds me a little bit of a Dave Rubin chapter in that the headline is actually good advice. It is good advice to be able to recognize that you should say you don't know oh. when you don't know something. You you mean, again, you did it again. It reminds you of a Jordan Peterson chapter. Yeah. Because you, you said Dave Rubin chapter, and I was going to say, how could you possibly remember any of the chapters we've read of this book? They are so forgettable. <laughs> but you just mistook their name. That's fine. Okay, so, so Dave Rubin did a Jordan Peterson in writing, stop being an expert yeah. on everything. That is good advice. Don't pretend to know, you know everything. Sure. However, a lot like Jordan Peterson, the irony on display is hilarious considering yeah. the subject you were using to try and display that virtue. Um, I learned this back in, I want to say high school. Um, I was reading a book at the time. I think it was called like, Oh God or something like that. Let me look. Uh, that sounds like uh, something. That you could was it was that was that book did it get changed into a, a, a TV or a movie? Here's what it is. No, it oh. was uh, God No by Penn Jillette. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, it called Signs You May Already Be an Atheist and Other Magical Tales. The opening of that book, and it's been a long time since I've read it, so I don't remember if it's good or not. But I tend to like Penn Jillette libertarian stuff, withstanding. <laughs> but um, <laughs> other than that, I like Penn Jillette. 
the book starts with him learning basically that it's okay to say, I don't know. Right. And as stupid as it sounds when I was in high school, I think a lot of people when they're that young and kind of stupid and overly sure of themselves, at least to an extent, I had confidence issues, but I also had that teenager thing where like, you're invincible and you're, yeah. you're the smartest person in a 400 mile radius. It's good to be consciously reminded that, hey, it's okay to say you don't know when you don't know something. You don't have to bullshit something sure. on the spot. Let's say I don't know. That's a good piece of advice, generally speaking. And I think you guys have heard me say that on this show multiple times. I've been like, I really don't know enough to have an opinion on that thing. Yeah. At multiple times I've said that. And that's fine. That's a reasonable thing to do. And I think the another irony... thing that we've done, and individually on Twitch and, and then also here uh, when we can, is we, we look stuff up when we don't know the answer like you literally just did. So sure. that's important. Uh, the irony here, of course, comes from the fact that he's using Jordan Peterson as an example of yeah. this when Jordan Peterson is basically the lobster king of the ocean <laughs> in regard to talking on subjects he really has no right to and that he doesn't have the knowledge base in order to be yeah. able to have substantive backed up opinions on up to and including the fact that and I touched on this in the previous episode, the fact that Jordan Peterson thought he's such an expert on everything that his doctors in Canada and the United States said to him, Jordan, you are suffering from chemical dependence on these drugs that you were taking. I don't even remember what they were. Were they benzos? Was it benzos? Whatever it was. I don't know. And Jordan Peterson said, no, you need to put me in a medically induced coma. And they're like, that carries a ton of risks that we don't need to do. So you just need to come down and, and sort of step down, um, the way they do at medical facilities where they'll give you progressively less and less of a substance to make the come down easier. But yeah. Jordan Peterson was like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do cold turkey while I'm in a coma. It was benzos. So in instead of listening to his doctors in North America, he went to Russia with doctors who he could pay to do whatever he wanted. And they did put him in a medically induced coma because he was so confident and overconfident in his own ability to diagnose and treat himself, yeah. and now he has brain damage. It's, they I put mean, him in the coma, and it screwed up his brain, and he has not been right he since. He is slower. And that's sad. Yeah, he is, that, he is definitely like a slower-speaking individual now than he was. And that's sad. I don't like Jordan Peterson, but I don't wish bodily harm on sure, him, yeah. right? Um, but it's such a clear example of the way he operates. Jordan Peterson constantly talks on subject, subjects he has no authority to even if sometimes he kind of sidesteps it and is like well no. i i don't know in regard to like his meat diet thing or something <laughs> he's still going out there and being like i'm on a meat diet an all meat diet my daughter michaela recommended it's mm -hmm. so great here are the things that are good about it or he'll be like let me talk about trans issues even though he clearly doesn't know what he's talking about and has never talked to a trans person in earnest in his life right. it's so frustrating hearing dave rubin go on and on about how like intellectually honest he is about what he doesn't know when it just is not the case yeah and dave doesn't do this either if you watch anything mm -hmm. that dave does i mean he's constantly saying just the craziest thing ever um what was it the other day? I can't. I can't remember the example, and it's really sad right now. Uh, it was on uh, uh, Dave Rubin clips, and uh, uh, he, of course, just gets it. Just gets it all wrong. Uh, let me see. I mean, there, there's so many of the clips. I'm pretty sure I, I retweeted one of them, but um, uh, I can't really play them. I guess, but. Um, it was about it was about masks or something, and it was oh, it was the one where <laughs> I don't know why people are worried about COVID. A lady came into the restaurant where I was in when I was in Florida, and she uh, accidentally stuck her finger in my mouth, and I didn't get COVID. It's like, what the fuck, Dave? It's so weird. I I don't understand. And he always, I think the worst thing about Dave Rubin though. Isn't that he he is uh, obviously a grifter? Um, uh, it's not that he's just stupid, uh, and it's not that he loves Jordan Peterson. Is that he always tries to make pop culture references? Mm -hmm. That really irritates me. Everything Star Wars is like, no, nah, you're the bad guys. <laughs> I don't know why you don't think you're the bad guy. Uh, anyway, um, 
he talks about Jordan Peterson uh, saying he can be humble in the face of stuff he doesn't know, even though people pay him lots of money to come listen to him talk. As as, as if that's like, I don't know. It's just weird. It's just weird. I don't. I feel like most people that are intellectual, actually genuinely intellectual, will say I don't know plenty of times. I don't think this is strange for people to say, unless that in Dave Rubin's like like circles. So he met Jordan Peterson, who's like, you know, better than Dave Rubin. If I'm going to be totally honest, <laughs> insofar as intellectual honesty, which is not a high bar. And then he's, like, blown away that Jordan Peterson can think, like, a chapter's worth of, of, of thoughts, like, and type them in a book. Whereas whereas Dave can only muster, like, mere paragraphs and then break them up like that. Like, I, is that what it is? Like, is he just blown away at, a, at, a, at an average intelligent person? I don't... Maybe. I'm sorry. I'm obsessed now because I'm oh, trying to find a picture. you're obsessed about something. That's, that's odd of you. I'm trying to find a... <laughs> Photoshop picture of Jordan Peterson in an Imperial officer uniform from Star Wars because I don't think there's a human being who's looked more like he should be in an Imperial officer uniform <laughs> than Jordan Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I can picture him in that scene where he's like, yeah, uh, you're, you're phony religions, Vader, and then Vader chokes him and then the camera pans and just off screen is Jordan Peterson going like, mm -hmm. yike. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, Peter, have you considered the metaphorical substrate? I fucking... I forgot that was a thing. I'm mad. Uh, a <laughs> little, little shout-out to Justin Trudeau slamming. Nice. Not too shabby. Um, ooh, gotta, gotta always make jokes about the, uh, the, the politics. That's how we know. That's how we know that Dave Rubin's got the, the finger on the pulse of the people. Um, this is literally just a wank off to Jordan Peterson the whole time. Holy shit. Um, oh, I also need to mention, since we're talking about Jordan Peterson talking sure. about things he doesn't know about, he has a whole interview where he thinks women only wear makeup to make men want to fuck them yeah. and to like distract men. Yeah. Jordan Peterson, again, I need to point out, talks about things he doesn't know about all the time. With a supreme know. confidence that he has not earned on these topics specifically. Look, I, I, I'm, I'm down to fuck, but like, it's, it's not contingent on, on like, makeup. It's like, it's like I've never actually thought about that. I, maybe Jordan Peterson does, but he's like, oh, you got, you got red lips. That means they're down. There's time to procreate with, to make babies. He's like, what the fuck, dude? Like, it's so weird. Oh, what do you think rouge is for? Rouge. Are we at a speakeasy? What the fuck is happening right now? I don't, <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? Most of the most of the human people that I have had sexual interactions with, uh, uh, like most of the sexual interactions I've had with any person, has been when they are wearing no makeup and are in sweatpants or something, right? Like I feel like that's most people's interactions. This isn't like a, it's not it's not that deep, dude. Like it's it's just. Was that a dick joke you just made in your head there? Yes. I thought it might be. Uh, yeah, I just don't think... I don't, I don't know. I don't know why Jordan's so weird about sex. Conservatives, when they talk about sex, just it's it's it makes it creepy. It makes me go, ooh, maybe sex is gross. <laughs> like... <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, he doesn't talk about sex here. He talks about uh, uh, when Jordan Peterson said, I don't know, Dave Rubin noticed that the audience didn't gasp in horror. I don't know why he wrote that. Like, like I don't think there's ever been a situation where there's been, like, an expert on stage, and if you ask them about something, they go, I don't know, that people would be like, but why don't you know? It's like, Neil deGrasse Tyson, ask him about something, well, I don't know, and then he'll be like, but maybe this, like, and I guess Neil deGrasse Tyson is kind of like, he likes to huff his own farts a little bit. And I, so I don't, and if, if even he can do it, what the, the, Jordan Peterson's bar is real fucking low here. Yeah. Who does Dave Rubin hang out with? Uh, ben Shapiro, that makes sense. Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro. In the previous There's chapter, no so. way Ben Shapiro has ever said, I don't know about something though, right? Unless it was like, unless it was like sort of colloquial, like, where should we go? Oh, I don't know. What about Olive Garden? That's authentic. 
Uh, now let me tell you, uh, hi- hi- hypothetically, if I were to get the um, if I were to get the uh, uh, bottomless uh, soup and salad bowl, uh, is that a, a theoretical sort of unlimited, or can I sit here all day and eat soup and salad and then salad and it, soup? It I is just nuts say, that uh, I was going to make I, the I, same I, exact joke, like literally to the T, every <laughs> word that you said. <laughs> um, are they actually going to give me unlimited soup and salad, or is it just <laughs> lies? <laughs> The liberal media would have you believe you could have unlimited soup and salad, but <laughs> what's that like, card you know they the give people? Stuff. I was trying to think of what the card is. I couldn't recall it though, so I couldn't make the joke funnier. But you know that, that <laughs> lifetime pasta card? My Olive Garden pasta past. I will have you know. Did once he I get past five bowls of pasta a day? Was it him? Tell me, I need to leave. They say, Mr. Shapiro, you Wait, need to leave the business. What? And I say, my wife is a doctor. I know how much pasta I can handle. And they say, Sir, this is an Olive Garden. Please leave. Is it is it him that got his pasta pass revoked? No, I think the meme was that it was. Uh, Sean Hannity's Trump. no, it was Sean Hannity's. That's why Sean Hannity's pasta pass got revoked, and he's like, "Um, actually, they did not revoke my pasta pass. I love Olive Garden." <laughs> like on his show, like three weeks ago, it was so dumb. Anyway, um, uh, he doesn't. He keeps on going. So. I don't know. Human I ego can be oh, fragile. No, I, just to, I just want to keep doing it, though. Okay, let's uh, keep going. Uh, Fuck it. Uh, uh, hypothetically, if I were to ask you for uh, extra breadsticks, how many breadsticks would come in a basket? Now, if I want extra, extra breadsticks, is that double the amount of initial breadsticks, or you just add two more breadsticks? Is it a uh, uh, some sort of curve on the uh, extra breadstick line? How are you determining how many breadsticks you're going to give me when I request extra breadsticks? If I don't say when, hypothetically speaking, when you... Uh, tell me to say when on the cheese grinder, will you in fact install a new wedge of cheese into the grinder at Olive Garden, or am I going to be subjected to your limits of cheese indulgence? Am I going to be subjected to that? Are you going to tell me where, where my limit is? I thought this was America. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Hypothetically, if your daddy's little girl no, 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 no. Okay. We're not doing we're not doing the thing. We're not reading the thing. I hate that shit. It makes me want to fucking vomit. Uh, <laughs> My wife is a doctor. Um otherwise, okay, this is the part that you 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 took umbrage. So he he opines about this for why wax is poetic about Jordan Peterson's unparalleled humbleness. And then um he writes, have the courage to admit when knowledge eludes you. Otherwise, you'll just be a dumb person's version of a smart person. And why would anyone want to be that? And he thought he was clever. I don't know. Holy shit. He wrapped that up in a bow. Wow, goosebumps, Dave. Goosebumps. That just describes Dave Rubin and Jordan Peterson, though. Yeah. Dumb people's idea of smart people. Yeah. Now, we're not even dumb people's idea of smart people. We're just dumb people, but we're dumb people who know that dumb people pretending to be smart people aren't actually smart people. I think I think there's a difference between being dumb and not being an expert on on a thing. I feel like I'm an expert on one thing. Hmm. Lunch. Okay. What are you That's a pretty broad on? topic. What am I an expert on? If you, had to, if you had to pick a vocation based on your number one skill. Uh-oh. I want to be one of the people who works at a, uh, like, like, you know the people who do the food testing for either McDonald's or Taco Bell or, or one of the food companies? I want to go work for whatever company... Decides what, hot what honey mustard is the honey mustard sauce. And I want to, I want to try the all the hot pockets and give my professional opinion on them. I can write. We said the note. same thing in a different way. We just want to. Okay. Eat, we just want to eat tasty foods. I don't know. Uh, I think people have a misconception when I talk about eating hot pockets, even as a meme, that I think hot pockets taste good. No, I recognize hot pockets are disgusting, and I think they've gotten worse lately. Honestly. They did something to the pepperoni that it's just not right anymore. And I just couldn't have really be, low standards. Couldn't be that you're an adult. Body. No, no. Like they, <laughs> They've okay, changed the pepperoni. I got a pepperoni, pepperoni Hot Pocket the other day, and there was fucking sausage in it. Like, what is that shit? Well, that's not... That's not... 
obviously the correct hot pocket. Uh, they might have mis- mixed it up. Um, the ham and cheese croissant hot pocket is still pretty lit. Sure. I will say. Like, of the hot pockets, the molten core of that one's the best. Okay. Yeah. You can't fuck up ham and cheese, though, really. That's pretty hard to fuck up. I did have a screaming Sicilian pizza the other day that was really, really bad. I've never had one of those before. Really? You didn't like it? I usually like the screaming was Sicilian the, pizzas. Their crust was bad. I don't know. Okay. It's icky. I like their crust, but fair enough. I like the, uh, I like the, uh, was it the Chicago Inn or something like that? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, they're really good. Uh, anyway, Dave Rubin thinks that uh, eating a frozen pizza is, is Rube peasant shit. So, what do you think the cheapest thing Dave Rubin eats? I feel like he's got like a guilty pleasure, right? Maybe. It's probably something everybody else hates, though. Like, like he lo- he just he just fucking. Like, really likes... Those frozen chicken cordon blues. Lay's stacks. <laughs> He's not a Pringles guy. He's not a Pringles he guy. exclusively like does Lay's stacks. Lay's stacks, which are awful. He was a big fan. He, he thought to himself, man, you know what I love? The Zune. Could I get the Zune? <laughs> yeah, but he in likes Zune. form? Zunes. Lay's stacks. <laughs> he he uses his Bing search engine. And... <laughs> RC Cola. Yeah, that's good shit. Anyway, uh, what's the next chapter that Dave is going to do? What we got? The next chapter is... Oh, sorry, I forgot it was on my second screen. Uh, dress better. Okay. And then admit we need religious stories. Oh, God. At least he's finally, uh, uh, we're here for a reason, you know? Like, there's, there wasn't a lot of substance in these. He's not no. making a lot of arguments. He's basically just, like, really happy about his friend. And look, I think everybody needs a friend like Dave Rubin. Okay? But I I think nobody needs... I It's weird. I think everyone needs a friend like Dave Rubin, and nobody should ever be subjected to having a friend like Dave Rubin. Isn't that weird? Like he's gassing you know? up Jordan Peterson quite a bit, which is pretty cool. That's a bro move, but but also like Dave Rubin sucks. Why would you ever want to why would you ever want something like that going on? I feel like Dave finds out the party is happening and then calls up on his way over. He's like, Hey, I'm on my way over to the party. And everyone goes, Shut the fuck shut the fuck up, it's Dave. And you're like, uh, oh yeah? Oh, we canceled that. Yeah. Uh, uh Food poisoning. We all got food poisoning. And then Dave goes home. By the way, we didn't mention it, but he left... The only person that left their significant other out of the tour was Dave Rubin. At that dinner party. Everybody else's wife or partner was there. Mm-hmm. And and Dave, Dave left his husband home. I thought that was funny. I hope they're happy, though. For Dave's husband's sake. They probably are. You think they're happy? You think they're happy? I think they're wealthy. That'll do a lot for you. Uh, will it? Yeah. I want to see what a day today is in Dave Rubin's life. Probably fine. He's wealthy. No, I don't think he's struggling. I just want to know, like, what's going on there? Like, what's the... What's a... What's a... What's a... What's a wake up? Dave's got no word. Day off. A day off for Dave. A day with Dave. Can I produce this? I would assume he wakes up with his husband, David, and... Oh, yeah, his cuddle. husband's name is David, right? They, you think they, they cuddle? cuddle? I feel like and... Dave is not a cuddler. Really? Why? Yeah. I don't know. He just doesn't seem like a very warm guy. He seems like uh, he seems like if we're not about what Dave's doing, it's not a good thing. I don't know. I, even if he's cold with other people, I'd hope he's not with his husband. I feel like Jordan Peterson is a better husband than Dave Rubin is. What do you think? You gotta pick one. Go. Oh, Dave Rubin. No, not to fuck, to be... uh, 
Okay, so first yeah, to be around most of the time because we're Dave partners. Rubin. Dave Rubin. Really? Or Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson would get insufferable immediately. Oh yeah, no, I think they're both insufferable, but I think Dave's so stupid it would bother me more. I don't know. Dave does can cook though, but I like cooking. I don't know. Okay, uh, I don't like uh, cooking. If Dave Rubin wants to uh, cook me something delicious, that's okay, fine. He uh, just needs to shut his mouth. Of after all the chuds, then who's the who's the best? Who's the best chud? Who's the best chud? By what metric? By you will be the happiest. I have to spend every day with them, more or less. Yeah, that's okay. tough. Let me look at my list of chuds. That's a tough list. I feel like it might have to be someone that we can bully because I just don't think I don't think any of them are nice people. Probably. <laughs> Of all the chuds. Hmm. Honestly, maybe... <laughs> maybe Mimsy. I was going to say that. Yeah. I feel like we could turn Mimsy if we had a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with her. Maybe? I don't know. So you're going with Mimsy. I'm going to go with Dave. Let's save Dave. Not Dave Rubin. Other Dave. I know who you're talking Lord about. Lord of Patriarchy I don't want anything to do with Lord of Patriarchy. Yeah, me either. He, he's not going to learn shit. Me either. But I feel like... What a uh, Lord of Patriarchy's most recent videos. <laughs> Making some sort of fucking terrible slop goop. Slop goop. <laughs> You guys What's should watch that? our Twitch channels. I forget what his food channel is. <laughs> Cooking with Dave. Cooking with Dave. Where he just makes something really shitty and gray. It's literally always the color of gray. Yep. Damn, yep. I can't find his channel. Well, is it all get, one word? Did he get banned again? I don't know. Oh, no. I can find his normal channel, but I don't see his Cooking with Dave channel. Oh, well. That's Period okay. Burger. He, I know he made that. Maybe yeah. I can search that. Well, it's irrelevant. We'll be watching some Dave uh, Dave stuff on stream probably at some point. Um, so, that's the end of the Dave Rubin content. Uh... Uh, uh, pretty soon, not only we're going to be done with Dave Rubin, but you know what's going to start? Probably the greatest event in cinematic history. The Snyder Cut. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Four hours. It's oh. going to be too much. No, it's not. We'll have edibles and pizza or something. It's going to be great. It's going to be a great time. What's your favorite pizza? That's tough. Uh, honestly, I like Papa John's quite a bit. Really? But if I have to say my favorite, probably, I, I did try a while back that G's pizza that you recommended so that had the sauce or whatever in the crust. Oh, my God. Yeah, nuts. That was amazing. Yeah. It's really I think it good. clogged my art. I think it took 10 years off my life with the amount of grease oh, yeah. that was in that thing, but it oh, was yeah. amazing. Yeah. All right. We'll get some G's. I got that shit with like ham and bacon and meatballs. It was like and a build your own pizza or something? Uh huh. But oh. with that same crust and stuff. And oh. I think I got extra G's. Oh, God. I picked that shit up and it was just like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with the. Yeah. They Whoop. literally have one called the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, which yeah. is the one I got. Yep. Oh man, you guys, you guys don't know the the glory. Maybe we'll maybe we'll live tweet a little bit of that for as long as we can stay coherent, but uh, but maybe not. I don't know. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be bad. So uh, looking forward to that. That's a couple weeks away. Uh, go ahead and press all the buttons for the things that you like. Go ahead and uh, in the description, our Twitch channels are there, uh, where we have a lot of the good stuff. A lot of the good stuff, including uh, Dave and Mimsy content. Uh, our uh, YouTube channels are there as well. Uh, we are uh, we are to the moon. We're going to the moon or something. All right. What are you reading? I'm trying to disengage from this video and you're reading an article. 
or a meme? Sorry. You doing a Reddit? I tried to make an appointment with the doctor for ADHD meds today, and, then and you they don't take my insurance. So oh, it's because insurance is a scam. No. Yeah. Anyway, my seriously though, my ADHD has been getting so much fucking worse lately. I just cannot pay attention to anything. It's becoming a problem. Hmm. I guess we'll just end the video then. Cool. See y'all next next video. Or, It'll be or will we? That's ominous. <laughs> Did you guys see my cool new sunglasses? Hold okay, on, sunglasses right? reveal and then it's over. Sunglasses reveal and then it's over. Huh, 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 huh. You want to see my cool sunglasses? They're not as cool as that, but they are prescription. I put them on when uh, people are acting cool, like Chuds are acting way too cool. And they think they're badasses. Look at that. And you can see all my <laughs> screens and shit. Yeah, I'm in like a fucking cockpit right now. All right. Have a good one. Say something rad. Say a rad sign off. Like if you were real cool, what would your rad? <laughs> I'll see all you hep cats later. Hep cats. All right, that's a hepatitis. <laughs> <laughs>